Meantime, a lobster fisherman from southwest Nova Scotia is trapped inside a Ukrainian city under siege tonight. He went to Chernihiv to try to bring people to safety. Now he and others are trapped. CTV Sarah Plowman has the details. It's being described as hell. Chernihiv, a city under siege. Just not safe really anywhere is right now. Power and water is cut, and so is a safe way out. As soon as we got close enough for exit route, we just got shelled. And right now, we can't even use that exit route anymore. Uh, anymore. It's, so the only open uh, corridor was been through the river, and that bridge no longer exists. Lex Brukovsky is a fisherman from Nova Scotia. He's in Ukraine to shuttle supplies and people to safety. It's his fourth day trapped. A search for supplies risks being shelled. We got, we got, uh, got in the middle of really heavy fire. We had to uh, up out of the car three times. Just like most people there, he's hiding underground, hoping for the best. That negotiations may create a corridor. We're we're holding on and trying not to get under. Uh, you know, in a line of fire. In Nova Scotia and across the country, people are gathering, standing with Ukraine as Russia tries to strike it down. The state is still under attack and people are impacted inside of Ukraine. People and children dying, um, it's just kind of heartbreaking. We are asking for the military support, we are asking to close the sky. Brukovsky emphasizes people need help, The civilian targets are being hit. It's all civilian buildings that are destroyed, libraries, uh, hospitals. Um, and, uh, you know, people are trying to get out of here and now they have no, uh, no escape route. A city held hostage more than a month after the war began. Now, Brukovsky has a crowdfunding uh, humanitarian effort underway online. It's raised thousands of dollars so far, Bruce, and he says that he'll make sure that what is needed gets into the hands of those who need it. Bruce. Important story. Thanks for bringing that to us tonight, Sarah.